an energetic process in the layers around being valued. Take a deep breath in, pull your energy and awareness into your divine line. And as you hold your energy and awareness in your divine line, feel into that energy, that desire, that idea of feeling valued, being valued in your life. The desire to be deeply valued. When you're deeply valued, you feel a sense of respect, meaning people respect you. People show up for you. People support you. People appreciate you. People are honest with you. There's no betrayal. When you are deeply valued, people communicate with you, verify and clarify. Do they value you? And so as you feel into all of the energy that you have around being valued and the desire to be valued and perhaps feelings of not being valued in your life at this time, as you hold your energy and awareness in your divine line, invite your higher self, soul rider, to work with your energetic fields and the guides, to imagine traveling to a dimension, up, 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 up your divine line, up, 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 off planet, to a dimension where you can be encircled by beings of love and light, perhaps your spiritual family, your guides, your advisors, who profoundly, deeply value you because they profoundly, deeply value themselves. Let's take a moment to invite your higher self, you, soul rider, etheric being, to reference another dimension where you are in a circle of beings of love and light who deeply value themselves and therefore have the capacity to deeply value you, where you deeply value yourself as an etheric being, qualities that you've attained, gifts, wisdom, and mastery, that then enables you to deeply value these etheric beings of love and light, spiritual family, guides, advisors, team. And as you reference that other dimension where you are in that beautiful circle, we invite your body to have a nature spirit at the level of its higher self to work with its energetic fields, the guides, to reference a dimension within the nature kingdom where it can be deeply valued by beings who also value themselves. If your body has a resonance with the tree people or the flower people or the mountain people or the crystal people or the fairy people, hold space for your body to find its people in an appropriate dimension within the nature kingdom where it can be encircled by these beings who deeply value themselves, therefore have the capacity to deeply value your body. Your body deeply values itself in its nature spirit form and then has the ability to deeply value these nature spirits in this other dimension, these etheric beings. Recognizing that we are only deeply valued when others deeply value themselves. When we deeply value ourselves, but we're in a circle of people who have the capacity to deeply value us because they deeply value themselves. So you're holding your expectations appropriately with that awareness that they have it to give. They have it to reflect. You have it to give because you have it to, to reflect. You have it within you. And as you let yourself sit in that circle, you soul rider, your body sitting in that circle, inviting your teams to also sit into a, in a circle where they are deeply valued by beings who deeply value themselves. They deeply value themselves. They deeply value these beings. Hold space and allow for a ripple and a reflection into the physical dimension, into your conscious awareness, into your fields. And lifting all of your reference points, your attachment and responsibility for being valued off of people in your life who don't even value themselves. If you do not value yourself, you cannot value another. You don't have it to give. So then discernment, compassion, no disappointment, no expectations, inappropriate expectations. And you're getting the need met in a dimension where it actually exists. And then balancing and stabilizing, dating your reference points, 
all ways in which you perceive. And let yourself sit in that other dimension, being deeply valued by your spiritual family, your guides, your advisors, soul rider, your body, nature, spirit, deeply valuing itself being valued by nature, spirit, etheric beings, updating all of your grids, all your reference points, all ways in which you perceive. Anytime we bring in a practice, we always want to think about the one-liner. So your one-liner on this one, when you think about people in your life and you want them to value you, you pause. You say, I want that person to value me. I want to be valued but does that person deeply value themselves or are they wanting me to value them because they can feel how I actually do, do deeply value myself? And am I holding responsibility for valuing them? What if I return that responsibility back to them? And I was only responsible for deeply valuing myself and then being able to value another to the degree I value myself, but not needing it from, the, from them, especially if they don't have it to give. So again, coming back to the simple one-liner, I want to be valued. Great. You value you, the light that flows within you. Do they value themselves? Ponder. If they don't value you, it could be that they don't even value themselves. And then you're bringing in more discernment. And when we have discernment, we never have disappointment. 